Hi, my name is Holly and I'm the children's librarian here at Alamosa Public Library in Alamosa, Colorado. And this is Storytime Online. It's time to share a story, a story, a story. It's time to share a story, a story today with families and bedtime and lullabies and bonnets. It's time to share a story, a story today. February is Black History Month, and we're honoring Black History Month by celebrating black authors and illustrators. This month and every month of the year, a diverse bookshelf is important every day. One of my favorite books of 2020 is this one, Bedtime Bonnet. It's written by Nancy Red and illustrated by Anika Myers. I see combs and brushes and hair clips and scarves, hair ties, bedtime bonnet. In my family, when the sun goes down, our hair goes up. My brother twists and tightens each of his locks. Sis combs her hair in a swirl round her head. Daddy's hairbrush makes rows of black waves appear. Grandma rolls up her silver mane. Grandpa doesn't do anything to his hair because he doesn't have any. After Mommy gathers her corkscrew curls in a scarf, she calls for me. I scoot between her legs and she gets to work on my hair. I'm tender-headed, so she's extra gentle. Grandpa tells jokes as Mommy works her magic. He asks me, why does the beehive have sticky hair? I don't know. So he says, because it uses a honeycomb. Silly grandpa. Finally, a braided crown is on top of my head and it's time for bed. Except, I can't find my bedtime bonnet. I need it to protect my hair from tangles and lint while I sleep. Wearing my bonnet at night is as important as brushing my teeth. Maybe Grandma knows where it is. She's covering her rollers with a kerchief. Grandma, have you seen my bonnet? She gets up and looks around. No, dear, I haven't. Maybe your sister knows? My sister's still in the bathroom. Her hair spun up in a wrap. Sis, have you seen my bonnet? She looks in all the bathroom drawers. No, but here's Daddy's wave cap. I take the cap to Daddy and he pops it onto his waves. Daddy, have you seen my bonnet? He looks around the sofa, but it's not there either. Where in the world could my bonnet be? I can't go to bed without it. Just then, my big brother walks in a do-rag slipped over his locks. Does he know where it is? Big bro, have you seen my bonnet? He doesn't even pretend to look. He just says, ask Grandpa. Do you see Grandpa? <gasps> oh, Grandpa! <laughs>
Do you see the bedtime bonnet? Do you think Grandpa had it all along? My bonnet is now in its proper place, and I'm really sleepy. Everyone gives me kisses and hugs, and Mommy and Daddy read me a story. Good night, family. In the morning, when the sun comes up, our hair comes down. Daddy smooths his ocean-like waves. Mommy scrunches her ribbony curls. Sis unwinds her foot-long wrap. My brother shakes out his lovely locks. While Grandma unsnaps her rollers, Grandpa shaves his head. And as for me, my bonnet comes off and my braids come out. Now we're all ready for a brand new day. The end. Nancy Red actually wrote Bedtime Bonnet for her daughter. And if you'd like to hear Miss Red read it herself, you can click the link below. How do you get ready for bed? Do you wear a bedtime bonnet? Does your grandma put rollers in her hair? Does your brother tighten his locks and put on a do-rag? Does your family all give you kisses and hugs? What about a bedtime story? All of the things that you do each night to get ready for bed are called your bedtime routine. Sometimes it's easier to follow your bedtime routine if you have a visual. Something like this. It says bedtime and it has all of the things that you can do before you close your eyes to sleep. Here's an example with a song that I switched around a little bit. Dr. Thomas Moore is a teacher who teaches teachers. And he wrote a song called, Look What I Did This Morning. Well, I switched it around to be, Look What I Did This Evening. Maybe you'd like to sing it tonight before you go to sleep. It goes like this. Oh, it's bedtime. We go to bed in the evening, so we sing. I put my pajamas on this evening. Look what I did this evening. I put pajamas on this evening. Look what I did tonight. Let's look in my box and see what else we need to do for our bedtime routine. <gasps> oh. I go potty this evening. Look what I did this evening. I go potty this evening. Look what I did tonight. Oh, a very important one. I brush my teeth this evening. Look what I did this evening. I brush my teeth this evening. Look what I did tonight. Last one. <gasps> I read my stories this evening. Look what I did this evening. I read my stories this evening. Look what I did tonight. This is the, always the last one. I turn the lights out this evening. Look what I did this evening. I turn the lights out this evening. Oh, look what I did tonight. Good night. Maybe in your family you have something special that you like to do. Like, I put my bedtime bonnet on this evening. Look what I did this evening. Or maybe I said my prayers this evening. Or maybe 
I fed my pet snake this evening. You could add something to make it your own, but grown-ups, the experts say, keep it simple. So maybe only four or five things. I found this on betterfetter.com, but you could draw your own. And I just put it on a clothespin. Perfect for a bedtime routine. It's not bedtime here at the library, so I'd better go take a walk to wake up. I think I'll take a walk around my favorite section of the library, the children's section, and take a look at our Black History Month display. We've got lots of books by black authors and illustrators, and I'd like to check some out. If you're here in Alamosa, you can stop by the library and see this display too, Monday through Friday from 10 to 4. If you're not in our area, call your local library to see when you can stop by and look for some of these great authors and illustrators on your shelves. See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, sweet baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly, goodbye. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Nancy Red wrote this story for her daughter. And I forgot what I was going to say about that. <laughs>